five hours later. Test-driven development, a phrase most developers say they use but don't actually do in practice. However, if you're an experienced developer, you know deploying code to production is risky business, and if you prefer not to play life on veteran mode, it is advised you add some type of integration test to your code to ensure you keep bugs to a minimum. Unless you know, you're the type of person that likes being woken up at 4am to fix 500 errors. In this video, I will teach you how to utilize test-driven development to write quality code in your Laravel API. The app you'll build today is available on GitHub, so feel free to check that out. By the end of the video, you will have learned how to 1. Use Laravel to build a simple REST API 2. Use PHP unit to write and run your integration tests. If you're new here, like and subscribe to watch more content like this. Now let's get started. First things first, let's open up our PHP Storm IDE. And as you can see, I have a freshly installed Laravel application, which I created by running Laravel new app. Next, we want to set up our local development environment. Today, we will be using Laravel Sail, which uses Docker under the hood. Following along the documentation on the Laravel site, we can install the Laravel Sail package with Composer. Then we want to select some of the Docker services, particularly MySQL. Then add an alias shortcut to use the sale keyword moving forward. Then for testing purposes, we want to add an additional database, which we can do by adding a MySQL underscore test block in the Docker Compose file. Now that we have everything set up, we can start up Docker by running sale up dash D. Now we want to prepare our environment to be able to run our PHP unit test. We could write everything from scratch, but since I'm a lazy developer, I'll just steal code from the internet. Today I'm using a GitHub gist created by Adam Wathen, who has a GitHub gist that seamlessly sets up a test database within PHP unit and Laravel. Following along the gist, we first want to create a env.testing file and paste everything from the gist into the new file. Next, create a PHP trait called database setup, which will be used in our test case file. Then in the setup function, call the setup database method. Next, we need to set up our data model by running sale artisan make model. Note, we will want to add a migration and seeder by appending dash M and dash S. Now that our migration and model is created, we need to add some required attributes, which include the name, release year, director, description, genre, cover for the image, then create an array cast for the genre since movies can have multiple genres. For data seeding, I copied some of my favorite movies from IMDB into JSON format. These movies include Superbad, Scream, Interstellar, Slumdog Millionaire, and just a couple other popular movies. Then in our seeder, we want to grab the JSON data, convert it to a Laravel collection, then create a data entry for each movie. Now migrate our database while also running the dash dash seed. Next, let's create our movie controller while specifying it's an API controller while also creating the subsequent tests and form requests. Then add the resource controller in the routes file. Next, let's add the required attributes for our store movie form requests. All attributes can be referenced in the movie model. We'll want to do the same for the update movie request just without the required field. Now we're ready to write our tests. First, let's test we can see a list of movies by asserting the response is OK and that it is an array of movie models. Now we want to run that specific test. And as you can see, it fails because we haven't added our functionality. Head to our index method in the movie controller and grab all of our movies and return a response object. Now you can see it runs perfectly. Next, we want to do the same for testing a single movie by asserting the response is OK, except instead of array of movies, we want to assert it returns a single movie model. Then we want to test our code. And as you can see, the test fails. But if we go to the show method in the movie controller and return a response object, the test passed successfully. Next, we want to test we can add a movie to the database by calling the post method and passing the required form field, such as the name, release year, director, description, genre, cover, which will be an uploaded file. And then we want to assert the database has a new movie we just created. Now let's test it. And as you can see, it fails. So let's head to the store method in the movie controller. Note, since we allow image uploads, we have to create and store a file into storage before we can create a new data entry. But now if we run the test, we can see it passes successfully. 
Now we want to test we can remove a movie from the database by calling the delete method, then asserting the database no longer has the movie we specified. If we run the test, it will fail, so let's head to the destroy method in the movie controller and call the delete method on the model. Now if we run the test, it runs successfully. Next we want to test we can update an existing movie by calling the patch method and passing in a couple attributes. Then we want to assert the database has our newly updated model. If we run our test, it will fail, so let's head to the update method in the movie controller and call the update method on the movie model. Note, since we still are using images, we have to add a condition that will store files in the storage only if we pass the cover in. Now if we run the test, it will pass successfully. Now that we've added all the required methods in our controller, we can run the feature test in its entirety. And as you can see, it's nothing but greens. Congratulations, you just learned how to set up a Laravel API using test-driven development. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe.